Stream and I'm back to a nightmare. Montreal Canadiens lose to the San Jose Sharks 5-2 in a game which they should have won. Poor coaching decision by Julianne putting Niemi in night. Niemi had a weak game. It is 100% what Costa had as the game. In my mind, there's no arguing it. I watched the whole game. Montreal had more quality shot attempts on net. They were the faster team. They were the more physical team, even though San Jose looked to be the much bigger team. They did more with the game. They stretched out their passes better. They had San Jose's defense running around like chickens with their heads off at certain points. They just couldn't capitalize. Strong, Jones, a strong game for Martin Jones. Very weak game from Anthony Niemi. A very weak game from Anthony Niemi. Not as bad as the Florida one, but still, like in a game like that, in a in a building where your team hasn't won in 20 years, and you play like that, the wraparound goal was very gross. Uh, anyways, guys, Montreal shots were 39, hits 21, face off percentage 51.9. Bang! All three of those numbers better than San Jose. Uh, power play, 0 for 1. They only had one power play. They did nothing with it. They drawed zero penalties. San Jose was a disciplined team tonight. And it wasn't dirty refereeing or biased refereeing, refs missing calls. It was just San Jose was a better disciplined team and didn't take dumb penalties. And Montreal didn't force them into situations where they would draw penalties. Uh, Niemi, 8.30 save percentage, only stopped 20 of 24 shots. There was 25 shots overall in the game, but San Jose also had an empty net. Uh, San Jose, 25 shots. Uh, hits 16, face-offs 48.1, power play 0 for 0, 0 for 0 of course, yeah, 0 power, uh, power play, yeah, 0 for 0, penalty kill 1 for 1, Jones 0 0.940, save percentage, uh, stop 37 of 39 shots faced. As for uh, Montreal, the first period, power play 0 for 1, I'm just checking the stats here guys to make sure I got that San Jose penalty uh, thing right. That's right. Uh, first, Hurdle. 6.55 into the period. Uh, Hurdle scores a gross wraparound goal. He's flying on the ice. He's telegraphing what he's going to do. You can tell what he's going to do. There's only one San Jose forward uh, coming down by the net, and there's two Montreal players that are there. So the option to pass is pretty much gone. So you can tell what he's going to do. He wraps it around. Niemi's not hugged tight, up against, uh, tight enough against his post. It hits off the toe of his uh, skate, bounces out. Looks like it's going to just be a simple rebound that he's going to scoop up and smother. Nope, it apparently hits off his blocker, goes between his five hole. A very weak goal. Shouldn't have been a goal. Looked like it deflated the team, which was playing really good up until that point. Then 10 minutes after that, uh, Sor or 10 minutes into the game, excuse me, Sorensen scores on a wrist shot in front of the net. A weak, in tight wrist shot. In the end, he wasn't hugged up tight enough against his post. Didn't have the body out there. It wasn't squared up to it enough, and it snuck through him. I don't know how that went in. It was like a little weak, close wrist shot. There was no zip to it at all. Assisted by LeBanc and Burns. 17-26 into the period. A bit of good news for Hattis fans. A really good news for Lekkinen fans. He's finally back on the board. He shoots it in. It looked like Weiss tipped, uh, tipped it in, but Weiss didn't get a stick on it. It actually went under Jones's pad clean, and it was Lekkinen's goal, and that was assisted by Thompson and Kulak. Into the second period, 7.46 into the second period. I missed this goal. I've seen the highlights of it, but I honestly can't remember it. I was out of the room at the moment when it was happening. But uh, a deflection goal off Joe Thornton, assisted by LeBlanc and Sorensen. Well, Joe was on the th side of the net. I remember he was on the side of the net, and it bounced off and went in, I'm pretty sure. And after that, I did see this goal. 15-18 into the period, into the second period. Andrew Shaw gets the goal. From a shot from Byron from the top, just between the two face-off dots, he's in the middle of the ice, he shoots it from the top, he zips it in, it bounces off Domi, hits off Shaw, I don't know if Shaw 100% got a stick on it or not, but I know it went in the net off Domi and Shaw, it was like a ping-ponging puck, wasn't a weak goal by Jones by no means, it was pretty much a guess which way you're going to go, where the puck's going to, trying to track it while it's bouncing off players, goals like that are hard to stop. Um, after that, third period, 6.08 into the third period. I thought the Habs were going to come back by this point. It was 3-2 going into the third in a game where the Habs looked like the better, faster team. They were putting more quality shots on net. They were uh, getting into Jones. They were getting more greasy on Jones. They were getting right in on the net. They were bothering the San Jose players. They had the San Jose defense scrambling all over the ice to keep up with their speed. They had one really nice stretch pass to Barr when he was coming in. Uh, where it went between two defenders, and the, one of the defenders actually had to foul, sprawl, whip his stick out there. If Byron had to score on that, it would have been a beautiful highlight real goal. 
Daly had another nice chance where he zipped it in there. It hit off the post. The commentator said it went in. I thought it went in too because it had a weird ding off the post. He zipped it in there. It bounced right off the post directly back out. Looked like a goal. He missed on that. Daly was buzzing all over the ice. He had a couple of really good quality chances. One where he was right in front of the San Jose defense. They were trying to clear the zone and Daly stripped it off the stick and just whipped it at Jones. I have no idea. I don't think he meant to stop it. I don't think he even seen it. It just hit him. Oh, Daly had a really good game. If he had to get a goal, it would spark the team. If that guy had to get going, he would have been a problem for San Jose tonight. Unfortunately, for us Habs fans, that was not the case. Um, 6 My Meyer gets a backhand goal assisted by Dan Scoy for San Jose. This guy was a brutal, was a killer tonight for uh, Montreal. Montreal probably would have had about 50, 60 shots on that tonight if Dan Scoy wasn't on the ice. Literally, they could have probably had 50, 55 shots, no joke. This guy stripped the puck for the Montreal players in their own zone and in San Jose's zone at least six, seven separate times when they were coming out to either make a nice pass to gain entry into the other team's zone or they were trying to make a nice turnover. Um, anyways, guys, 1954. Empty netter for Nyquist, assisted by Vlasic. That ends the game. As for my overall thoughts on the game, uh, it was a brutal game. Montreal should have won it. They shouldn't have put Niemi in net. You, I don't know what Julian was thinking. I know Price is hard. I know this is a tough team. But this is a team that can absolutely kill you and has killed you for 20 years in your own building. You haven't beat them in 20 years in your own building and you start a struggling backup. It, it absolutely boils my blood. It's not like the Habs didn't have rest in between. It wasn't a back-to-back. -back. It makes zero sense to me. I'm just getting up here first thing in the morning. It's uh, about 8 o'clock here in Newfoundland. The game only ended literally like five hours ago, so I'm still rubbing the sleep out of my eyes from that game. Uh, sorry about the choppy review, guys. i got to slap it together before work. I'm trying to do the best I can with it. I thought the Habs should have won this game. I was not pleased with it, I, pleased with it at all. Blows my mind that they haven't won the building in 20 years and you start struggling back up who absolutely blew the game for you in Florida and pretty much did the same thing. No, he didn't allow three goals right away, but you look at the quality of the shots that he let in, 24, 20 on 24 shots. Uh, I can see after this game a lot of Habs fans saying bye-bye Niemi. Niemi's out. He probably won't get another start in Montreal after this game. Seriously, Montreal only has 14 or 15 games left, and they're going to ride left. And if they're struggling at all, they're riding price till the end. I guarantee you they're going to ride price till the end. Even if it does kill them going into the playoffs, but the Habs do not want to miss the playoffs this year. They've had too good of a year. Too many players have been career years to miss the playoffs. If you miss the playoffs this year, you're going to get absolutely ripped in the media. It's going to be a bad look. Yes, they turn it around. Yes, they have good prospects. Yes, they look like they're at. On the, on the right track, but earlier in the season, they looked like they completely turned it around. They went from just on the right track to a playoff team, to a solid, definite playoff team, and they do not want to fall out and have that on them. I don't want to hear it as a Habs fan. It absolutely bothers me to death that if they miss by a point or two after struggling like they did last year and looking like they're going to be the comeback team this year, the Vegas of this year, and then they just fall apart like they have at the end. It's unacceptable. Terry Price needs to be in net. He needs to be having those non-60 save percentage games, which he has those crazy games where he stands on his head. And he can do it. I guarantee you he's hungry to get back in there. I'd love to see Price be sick down the stretch. Maybe come in and even steal the Vezina. He can do it. Habs can do it. And I know they can make the playoffs. They just need to make the right decisions. Put Kakanyemi back in the lineup. Yes, Wheel had one good game. And he didn't look terrible by no means last night. But KK should be in there. He's a better player all around. I don't care what anybody says. If you're putting put the best options in there to win, should have did something at the deadline, and it's showing now. A lot of guys that talk on this said that they should have put something in the deadline. Bergevin should have did something at the deadline, and it's showing now, but he didn't do it. Getting to get a bit passionate here, guys. I got to go to work. I don't want to get myself too hyped up. I just woke up. And I slapped together this review for you. I hope you guys like it. I'm sorry if it's a bit of a choppy review. Usually I'm more on point with these. But uh, rough game for the Habs. Anyways, guys, this is Mr. Average Hockey Fan. I will have a review for you of the Ducks game for sure. Keep an eye out. I hope you enjoyed the game. I actually did enjoy the game until I realized halfway through the third period there was no hope. Then it was kind of all downhill. But it was a competitive game until then. Anyways, guys, Mr. Average Hockey Fan, please like, please subscribe, please comment. Have a great day. Over and out.